Welcome to the College of Engineering. We're glad you're here. My name is David Jones. I'm the Associate Dean for the College of Engineering and a professor in Biological Systems Engineering. They've asked me to welcome you and I I'm glad that, that I have that opportunity. We're going to spend the next four years together helping you become the engineer that you want to be. They've also asked me to tell you a little bit about myself. As I said, I'm a professor in Biological Systems Engineering. I've been here now for 25 years. It's been a great time. Prior to this, I was a, did a PhD at Oklahoma State University. And even before that, I was at Texas A&M where I did a bachelor's and master's degree. I grew up in a dry land cotton and cow operation in West Texas. It's out in the middle of nowhere. So you folks out in Western Nebraska have something in common with me. So let me talk to you a little bit about engineering. You are in a position to begin an engineering career right now. Question is, what type of engineer do you want to be? What, do you, what skills do you want to, to accumulate? How do you want to use those skills? Where do you want to use those skills? And I think the most important questions are, who do you want to help with those skills? Engineering is a people business. It is about people. Engineering is done for people, and it is done through people. Look at the next slide. The next slide is the greatest achievements of the 20th century. This list was compiled by the members of the National Academy of Engineering. Look at the list. 20 items, 20 achievements of the 20th century. The list is impressive. And as you peruse the list and then you consider what's on the list, consider which of those are the most important to you. Which of those that you take advantage of the most. Maybe the most interesting question would be, of those 20, which would you like to do without? Could you do without any of them? This list is important to us because it represents the engineering that allows us to do what we do today. It has allowed us to prosper. It has allowed us to do, make the, uh, uh, the strides that we've made. It also allows you to come to college and study engineering at the University of Nebraska. That's our history. But what are you going to work on? Are you going to work on the 20th century problems for the 21st century problems. As you look at this page, notice that it is again from the National Academy of Engineering, the same people who gave us the previous list. And the question this time was not what are the greatest achievements, but what are the grand challenges for engineering in the 21st century. Examine this list as well. Take a look. Solar energy, fusion, carbon sequestration, managing the nitrogen cycle, clean water, urban infrastructure, health informatics, medicines, reverse engineering the brain, nuclear terror, cybersecurity, um, virtual reality, personalized training, science, and, and then engineering the tools of scientific discovery. This is where you're going to spend your career. The jobs, the problems that you're going to solve, the jobs you're going to take, the research that you're going to do, your professional career is going to be around these grand challenges. Can you see yourself working in these areas? We do. As such, we have spent our time developing a, curricula, a curriculum and a, a student experience such that you are prepared for these grand challenges. How have we done that? Well, the first thing we've done is we've arranged the college so that you have a broad selection of majors. The majors that in red are those majors that are offered at, uh, in Lincoln. The majors in blue are those that are offered in Omaha. From this selection of majors, it is clear to me that you will have the preparation to, to engage and solve those grand challenges. But this is the curriculum. There's a lot more to your college experience than just the curriculum. You need to know 
and, and know where to take advantage of opportunities outside of the classroom and how to engage in those opportunities outside of the classroom. It's first week of class, I'm sure you're well on, you, on your way to finding things outside of the classroom. But we have Engineering Student Services here to help you. Engineering Student Services is a collection of resources and people that are here to help you be successful inside and outside of the classroom. As we guide our way to the website, keep in mind that engineering is about people. And as much as we want to fill your head with knowledge and, and, and build your hands full of skills, we want to build you as a person as well. And that is part of what Engineering Student Services is all about. The resources and the people that are available to you through Engineering Student Services will be valuable to you as you go through your career. This includes tutoring, uh, student involvement, finding work opportunities inside the college and outside in the community, and preparing you for your engineering career. You will be hearing more about that as, your, as this class continues. So, are you ready to begin? When you begin this process, we become partners. We become partners in preparing you to be the engineer that you need to be. I said that engineering is about people. It is for people, and engineering is by people. Want to highlight that, I refer you to the National Society of Professional Engineering Code of Ethics. Read through the preamble. You will be exposed to this more than once. If nothing else, pay particular attention to the words in red. It says, in short, that engineering is important. It is a learned profession. It holds us to the highest standards of honesty and, and integrity. It is about impact and the quality of life for all of us. It requires honesty, impartiality, and fairness, and equity. And furthermore, it must be dedicated to the protection of the public health, safety, and welfare. To do all of that, we must hold ourselves and each other to the highest principles of ethical conduct. This is because engineering is for people. I hope you're ready. We're ready for you. It's time to get the semester started. Welcome to the College of Engineering.